Hi, it's Mary O'Toole from the LightWithinWellness.com. So where on your list do you have your self-care, your well-being? Is it a priority or is it down on the list? I feel we can no longer keep putting our health and well-being off. We have come so accustomed to allowing stress be, be such a big part of our life that we think it's a luxury when we can de-stress, let go, give ourselves space to rest and rejuvenate. We have it backwards. If we lose our health, it's hard to get back. And it's the one core thing that we really need in order to be successful in life. It's valuable. You are valuable. Your well-being is valuable. I used to be the same way. I would get busy. I would put everything else before me, before my well-being, before my self-care, before my balancing my stress, my body, and my life. There is so much stress in the world. It's coming at us like tenfold every second of every day. And you can't afford to allow that to bombard you, to distract you, to toss you around and allow your um, health to deteriorate. I want you to encourage you to make your well-being, your health, your vitality, your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, your spiritual connection a priority. And it doesn't have to be hard. That's the thing. You don't have to do 60, 90 minutes of yoga every single day, though I would recommend doing that if you can. It can be one to five minutes done consistently on a regular basis. It can be taking five-minute breaks on a regular basis, getting away from your desk, getting away from people, getting away from the bombardment of uh, social media. It's monitoring conscious, it's being conscious eating and monitoring your foods. It's simple. I started my, my path into wellness by doing one yoga pose a day. Just one yoga pose a day. And I did a video on this and I hope you saw it. So I'm, it's not hard. It's easy. It's a matter of carving out a few minutes every day in order to take good care of you. It is important and you are worth it. Because once you are in harmony and in balance, your mood changes. You can think clearly. You eat better. Your body feels good. You're a nicer person to your neighbors, to your friends, to your family, and to yourself. You're a better person in this world. It's so important. And I can't stress it enough. And I'm here to take a stand for you, myself, and for everybody else that we're no longer putting our well-being and our health on the back burner. It is a priority. Say no to the things you need to say no to. And say yes to the things that nourish you and uplift you and connect you to your well-being and to that that brings you to a higher purpose. I invite you to this week to really focus on where you are saying yes to things that um, impact your health and your harmony. And I invite you to start implementing simple little teeny practices. It's, again, simple stuff. One to five minutes in the morning, one to five minutes at night that help your health, whether it's sit and breathe, journal, let go of your day at night, take a walk outside, have nourishing foods, have a nice hot cup of tea, take a break from social media, spend some time and quality time with yourself. There's a million ways and simple, easy ways that you can do this. All right. Hope you take this on. I encourage you to take this on. And I'm here with you. I'm here to support you, to encourage you, and to remind you to keep doing this. This is important for you, for me, and for everybody else. All right. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.